Hi everybody. Today I'm going to show you what a paracord needle is, what it's used for. I'm going to try really hard not to bump this table like I just did. But anyway, this paracord needle is something new that we have at True Prep. And it is a very handy little needle. I am so, I love this thing. I Honestly, I don't even make uh, bracelets and other things without my paracord needle anymore. But basically what this is, is it's threaded on one side. And it has, you can kind of see what the other side looks like, sort of flat and and pointy and basically the way that this works is you thread your paracord into your needle um, now whenever you burn paracord it really ends up kind of you know a couple different ways one if if you burn it and it's sort of like a little ball on the top that's not really going to grab in your paracord needle what you really want is you want an edge that's basically if you look i actually kind of clipped this at an angle like that and then when I burned it, I just burned it from the bottom. And I'll show you how to do that here in just a minute. But basically, if you have something like this, it's going to really grab that, that paracord needle pretty easily. But basically, all you do oops, wrong end, is you take the threaded part of your paracord needle. And it's just like a, it's kind of like an inside out screw, really. You just take it and you twist onto uh, your paracord. And basically, it just grabs it. It's on the really tight. So then what you can do is you can take this and then you can thread it through something that you have already worked on, like, um, you know, a, a bracelet or something. So I'll show you for an example. Let's say that you just finished making a bracelet and you didn't. There's one way that you can do it when you're finished with when you're finished making a bracelet. What you can do is you can clip the ends and burn them. But what you're going to have is you're going to actually be able to see those little burn marks. See how you see that on both sides? So when you go to wear your bracelet, then you can actually see your little burn mark. Now, one of the ways that you can use your paracord needle is you can hide that. And here's a really cool way to do that. To get this off, you just unscrew it. Just like magic. It's amazing. Okay. So let's say that you finished making a paracord bracelet. And you have one that's going to be on the inside. Basically, you want to make sure... To see one of these, one of these little edges will be hidden, and it's going to be the one that's on the bottom. So you have one that's kind of on the bottom over here. This is going to be hidden, so I'm just going to snip that and burn it. You won't see it anyways. But the one that's on the top, you'll actually be able to see that. If I flip that off and burn it, you'll be able to see that burn mark. So what I can do is with this end, I'm going to burn this. Um, so that it'll fit on my paracord needle because right now when I burned it or when somebody burned it, I don't think this one was mine, it actually won't go on there because it's too, it's kind of like a little ball, really. So what we do is we find our scissors. Found them. <laughs> okay. So we take our scissors and we cut it at an angle. Okay. Sort of at a little angle like that. And then you're going to take your flame. And children, do not do this at home without parental supervision, please. So basically what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of burn the bottom end here. Kids don't do that at home either. Okay. So basically what we've done is we've made sort of a little bit more of a sharp edge. If you can kind of see how I just made that, that edge there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to thread it onto my paracord needle. Let's give it a good twist. It's on there good and tight, right? So now what I want to do is basically what we do is we go up and over and we're going to tuck that into the back side of your bracelet. So, I don't know if I can do this kind of where you can see what I'm doing. But basically, all I'm going to do, oh, oh, I'm not kind of in the out of picture there, aren't I? Um, basically, all I'm doing is I'm just threading that through the back side, just like that, of my bracelet. Um, about one, uh, I'm sorry, about two or three is all it really needs. Two or three of the little, um, oh gosh, I don't even know what you would call those, little loops or something. Um, and you're just going to push it through. 
and pull it out. And what it's doing is it kind of makes it look like there's another little loop there. And it just kind of hides that. It just, well, and this is a little messed up. This is not the perfect. This, this is an old paracord bracelet that one of the kids messed up. <laughs> so anyways, it's a good one to practice on, right? So, but what we did basically, if you look, we just tuck this into the back. Now, one of the ways I like to do that, first of all, you got to take your paracord, uh, this is also called a permalock, by the way. So, uh, if you're looking for these, they're also called permalock or, um, paracord needle, which is what I like to call it. So basically what I did is I just pulled it through the backside there. Okay. Now, instead, and I'm going to clip it, but instead of burning it, I'm just going to fray it out a little bit. So that way you don't have that rough edge on your skin. So we're just going to clip that off. Kind of phrase up a little bit like that. And it stays in there nice and tight. Um, so basically what you do is you have a nice finished edge. And it looks very professional. It even looks better than the stuff that you buy at the, at the stores. Um, so you've got a nice little finished edge there. And um, a very professional looking bracelet. So there you go. There's your paracord needle. It comes in very, very handy. And there's other ways that you could use that paracord needle too. Let me show you how. Very cool stuff. All right. So back to my pretty little green. Spool thread my green thread back on just like so okay um, let's go back to this not so attractive bracelet that shows the burn marks okay we'll just play with it a little bit so let's say that you wanted to have a color that goes straight through well let me tell you this paracord needle that's really going to be very very helpful so basically all we do is we just thread it through the top side and you can push it through and then back through a couple or whatever, you know. But you're just going to thread it through the top side of that bracelet. I'm just going to do a couple because you don't want to see me sit here doing this all day long. Okay. So basically, what I did is I put my needle through the top part of my, of my bracelet and then I just give it a pull through. Okay. And... Then you're going to see, well, that doesn't look too good on my camera. Okay. Then you're going to see, well, you'll see it kind of go through the, um, through the, the center of your bracelet there. And you could actually skip every other one if you wanted to. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, looks like I might have a customer. So bear with me. Over one, under one, work in it, work in it, trying to work it. One of the things too that I'll do is you can't really see my table, but I'll take this part and kind of press down and it helps just kind of pop that up through there too, which is kind of handy. Like I'll just kind of press it out like that and it'll press through. So there again. You can skip one if you want to. Just kind of pull it through. So uh, anyway, it's a super great, great way to thread through any kind of little project to pull your paracord through something. And um, again, that's how I love to finish off my paracord bracelets or whatever it is that you're making. Um, quite a few of you out there are getting pretty darn good with your stuff that you're making. So anyways, paracord needle. We have them at True Prep for $3.99. And let me tell you, it'll make your world just so much more enjoyable. You're going to love it. Thanks for listening. Ciao.